is my 46 inch dirty hand tools rough cut toe behind mower I had some problems through my own making and I worked with the um, the warranty folks and they helped me out they gave me new parts not really sure that they had to but they did anyway so um, the axles are bent you can see that you can see how that is right so this one here what I went in a circle and I went in a circle too fast so and this one the tire popped off and I kept driving I had the headphones on I couldn't hear it I was listening to music so I drove around a little bit before I realized it was something didn't quite feel right look back and sure enough that rim was on the ground and that one was bent I managed to straighten that out put it in a vise and then grabbed a um, combination wrench and used the closed end of it to sort of wedge it back into shape so a couple weeks later I did the same thing to the other side same thing driving in a circle driving too fast driving over humps thing is it's got a 20 horsepower motor so it doesn't really get slowed down by the high weeds you see like in the field there so I just thought it was a ticket to ride and I just drove too fast so dirty hand tool sent me the new ones they're not on here now I took them back off for this video but what, what, what's important here is that it was my fault, uh, but I didn't really like the way this was designed. What Dirty Hand Tools sent me was some uh, document that said that this bolt should be tight at the bottom, which it is now, and um, that's it. But it's supposed to rotate, because that's how you adjust the height. Let me see if I can get the camera back in there. Let me see if I can get the height adjustment going here. So this is how you adjust the height. You pull the pin out. And that's it. Okay? So that's not supposed to... That's not stationary. Because it's supposed to rotate. So you can see, under normal operation, this wobbles. There's nothing really to secure that. So what I did when I got the new adjusters was I made sure that this thing's not going to move anymore. And I'll, I'll show you how I did that. It's not really that profound, but I certainly didn't want to go through this again because, it, you know, the, it, the mower's useless when they're bent. It's just you can't use it. So I'll show you what I did with the new height adjuster to make uh problem go away. Well, at least, well, and I drive a lot slower now, too.